welcome to Game of Thrones, episode 2. Um, what's that? I don't know what else to say. I'm more immersed in this game than I thought it would be, though. <laughs> Previously, on Game of Thrones. These are dark days, I fear. This house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Yeah. I'm just worried about my family. The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. Are you willing to risk an alliance with the crown? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Rasha. We don't want White Hill men within these walls. You can be my highborn ward. Stop it. Oh my god, I remember this. No. No. Don't let them take me! And now he's... Freaking out. Gosh darn. I thought I was doing everything perfectly. Now that you're all caught up. Whoa. Ah. Oh, it's just me, Beska. <sighs> Took you long enough. Your ale's getting warm. Or warmer, I should say. You can stop pacing. They'll be this here This stuff soon. is weak compared to Northern Ale. I don't care. Let's spill. Is that wine? Or blood? Taste it and find out. It's blood. <laughs> nice having the place to ourselves, though. It's a hookah. They have these back then. Fragrant. Looks like we weren't the first to rough up the place. in yellow comes out yellow waste of time even drinking it if you ask me considering we found it in an abandoned tavern it's not bad they smell off to you it's the only thing in yunkai that doesn't i know it's a filthy haven for thieves murderers and other deadly bastards you should feel right at home i know i do may we drink thieve and fight until the end i'll drink to that <laughs> You'll drink to anything. Another round? Our muscles are just as big as his. Have you forgotten about our honored and exalted guest? Go see if he's still breathing. What? Oh, okay. 
How's he doing? We need him alive to collect his bounty. After that... He looks fine. Fat and scared. Good. Let him stay that way. Until we collect our gold, at least. 800 gold dragons for capturing him. Lucky we caught him trying to flee Yunkai. Lucky for us. Not so lucky for him. We should find more former slave masters with bounties on their heads. I don't need any more naked fat men in my life, thank you. Oh. <laughs> they say only the poor know how to really spend money. We'll buy the finest wines, the best whores. Sleep in a bed without fleas? Sounds nice, doesn't it? We've not been paid yet, Beska. Can't spend dragons you don't have. We'll have them yeah. soon enough. My point is, with enough coin we could do anything. Go anywhere. I could afford passage back to Westeros. To Ironrath. I've heard nothing from my family in years. You mean go home? They treated you like shit there. Kicked you out because you fell in love with a girl from the wrong damn house. Gwyn. A man doesn't choose who he loves. Your family should understand that. Westeros and its bloody houses. Who fucking cares? They're still my family. My brothers and sisters. They had nothing to do with it. I suppose that's true. Yeah, just let me just, just remember. We have a good thing here. And any moment now, we're gonna be rich. Let's make a toast. To all of us deadly bastards. Um. To us. I. To us. Oh, shoot. Man, toasting in this game is harder than toasting in real life. What? Beske, uh -oh. I thought freed slaves put the bounty on Bazak. They did. With his own gold. So why are the fucking Lost Legion here? Oh, is that Tazal? From the Volantis job? No. Maybe he's forgotten know. about that. You! I told you if I saw you again! Tazal! Isn't it funny how life brings old friends together? That cut your fucking throats! The... Tavern's closed. Yeah. What are you doing here? Where is he? Where's who? What? Uh -oh. Here. 400 dragons. They must be working for the wise masters. And that's all you're getting. Uh, the bounty is 800. You get four. It's <laughs> more than you deserve. No, but that's not what we were promised. Uh oh. Uh oh. They took the bounty away. Give us 800 and you can have him. Don't be an asshole now. We're all sell swords here. We are nothing like you. The Lost Legion are the blood of Olveria. And we are done taking orders from whimpering pigs. What? Bloody hell. What's the point? And we're done with you, too. Tazal, what the hell have you done? You two are going to be useful to me for once. Not bloody likely. The wise masters will hear how Asha Forrester kidnapped the venerable Bezak. How he wouldn't take less than 800 gold dragons. So he killed Bezak instead. Me? Luckily, we were there to deliver swift justice. So you steal the money and we get the blame. Ponte Osinas! Oh crap. Uh put the tape. Alright, who dies first? Who is the dance to the end of the Uh oh. Kill them! Now! Oh shoot. Oh. Oh. No, no. Here's one! What? Oh, oh kill them. Come on! You're dead. Whoa. She couldn't pass me. I think I died. Crap. Crap. I think my I think my controller is not messed up. I think yeah. Yeah, yeah, my controller di <coughs> died. She couldn't pass me. Uh. Cool. Shoot, I hate my life. 
Uh, you do first. There we go. You owe me one. This reminds me of <laughs> that brothel in Novos. Oh you kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. to go. Can we take it? <laughs> Come on. Malcolm. Damn. Oh, of course. We have to keep moving. Malcolm, stop. Asher, I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. What are you doing here? Your brother Ethan sent me. I'm here to bring you home. Woo, speak of the devil. Episode 2, The Lost Lords. I wonder what's going to go happen in this episode.
stay silent for now. Damn foresters. Have to be so fucking far away. I didn't even do anything wrong. And he already died. That's far enough. I come from the twins bearing the dead of House Forrester. Lordly types from the looks of them. All right, we'll take them. Well, they're not free, are they? How much are you paying for them? Sir Roiland. You again. I, 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 you got this time? Some poor peasant dressed Sir up Riley. like a lord. Uh, a stable boy was... in Bannerman's clothes. You did this at dusk and day, oh. and you have the fucking stone to try it again. No, I... This house has suffered the loss of many good men, and you dare come here claiming to have Forrester dead. The Forrester? Uh. Look at the... Leave. <laughs> now. Fine. I'll dump him in the river then. No, don't do that. You come back here again, you won't be leaving. You got that? I, I heard you. Oh. That was a sheep fucker. Wow. <clears throat> What is it, sir? This one's still alive. You there? Who are you? It's me. Roderick. Roderick? Roderick? By oh, the gods, it is you! Sir? Fetch the maester! Hurry! Fetch the maester! Roderick! Who's Roderick again? I'm not... I'm lost. Uh. Oh no. Don't show me this. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. My lord, you should not be awake. You should not oh, be awake. Oh, Just go back to the puppy. Drink. Oh, well, that's either that or he passes out from shock. Which I can't let happen. Roderick! My lady. No, don't you dare. <laughs> I am at a very delicate moment in the surgery. Please, I want to see my son. Let him. I think Sir, he died. my lady, I must insist that you leave. No. Roderick, what have they done to you? These no. wounds would have killed any other man. As it is, he may never walk again. Crap. Don't Roderick? Oh. What's wrong with him? He drank the milk of the poppy. Please don't leave me. Not yet. I'll be back, don't you worry, child. <laughs> Is it? It's awful. <laughs> Maestor Tengren says your leg may never fully heal. And your face. That face, man. These wounds will heal, Talia. That 
face. I know. You'll be your old self before we know it. Also something out of a Batman comic book. Roderick, there's something you need to know. Ethan is dead. Ethan. Uh oh. Bruce Bolton's bastard came here and threatened to take me away. Ethan grabbed me. And that monster put a blade through his throat. Yeah, I got it. Like it was nothing. Ethan. How could this happen to him? We'll make Ramsey pay for what he did. I promise. Good. Make sure he dies. planning to honor Ethan in the grove alongside father and now mother wants me to write this song for the funeral oh. I can't <laughs> you can Talia <laughs> I know you can <laughs> what's with all the laugh <laughs> it's been chaos here since he died We have White Hill soldiers stationed in our courtyard. Even the small folk don't feel safe. You need to show everyone who this house belongs to. I will do what I must to preserve House Forrester. I don't mean to put unwanted pressure on you. I just... It's all right. But who's going to be the new king? I know you still need time to heal, but... I'll be fine, Talia. Council's meeting in the Great Hall right now, actually. Nobody expects you there, but if you think you're ready... I want to go. Can you even stand? They could use your leadership. Who do you think I am? <laughs> Let's do it. <clears throat> With one arm and one leg, we can make it. I missed you, brother. You can do this, Roderick. I know you can. I know I can do it. We did it, we did it. Getting up is the hardest part of the morning. Oh! Roderick! I think I went too fast. I'm fine. What? They had wheelchairs back then, did they? Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Not when the house appears so weak already. I need to attend that meeting. And you will. But you will get there on your feet. It's a long way to the Great Hall. We can't risk you falling where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. Thank you, Talia. There's a difference between being brave and being stupid. Ready? Up we go. That's it. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. What do you mean? Hmm. Fight for life. <laughs> That's the best. Hmm. Turtle! Yes! The one I wanted to kill everyone. I think we're here. If I'm not mistaken, that's the wall. Oh, am I supposed to do something? Or this is just the... Okay. That's the slowest elevator I've ever seen. Recruits at the gate! So this is the seat of the night's watch.
Guess who it is up in here? That's right. You're a royal, is it? Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. All these guys with these beards, I swear. Built by giants, doesn't it? You're new, here to take the black. Because mm. you got that look about you. That's not your concern. Hey, I'm just trying to help you out. <laughs> I'm not making nice friends, am I? Well, whoever you are, go see Frostfinger. He'll get you sorted out. Frost Which one's Frostfinger? <laughs> that grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. So don't act all high and mighty with him. He won't stand for it. Don't worry. I would definitely not. Stairs. Use the stairs. Oh, uh, I see why he's called Frost Fingers. Hello. Your Frostfinger. You recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Who are you, boy? Uh. I was a squire. I served Lord Forrester of Ironrath. A squire from Ironrath. And how does a squire get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You abandon your post. Actually, I'd like to volunteer. <laughs> you just want to serve the realm, is that it? Yes, I'm yes, a up. You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. You're a bad liar, Garrett Tuttle. Well, screw How you. do you know my name? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. Dang it. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. You lied to me the first chance you got. <laughs> oh, no. You'll fit in well here. Uh, you, don't you don't know me as well as you think. I know enough. Now then. We'll start your training in the morning. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Understood. Oh crap, no, he hates oh, me. Oh, Tuttle. Sooner or later, the Night's Watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. Night Watch, sorry. Last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse oh. cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. Oh, I'm gonna punch him <laughs> with my only arm. At least he can still eat his shit. The White Hill soldiers are drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Let's just get to the Great Hall. Well, I say he's dead. And they've dressed up some peasant in his place. I will kill you. Fill me up, would you? And bring us some salted pork while you're at it. <laughs> Fill yourself up, you lazy fuck. Is that him? No. Has to be, doesn't it? Let's just go. He's hideous. <laughs> Shut up. Had a run-in with Walder Frey, did you? Shut he's leaning up. on a gun. Should have buried him with the Shut corpses. Up. Shut up. Forest is Real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Real shame Don't about your face. Shut now. up. You shut up. All of you, shut up. The haters. Hey, 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 hey. 
Hey, 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 hey. Why are you sitting we there? We have business in the Great Hall. <laughs> we can just go around. Go them. around. Oh, whoa. Don't you, you don't test want to test me. <laughs> Is that right? Because you look pretty sad to me. I will kill you. Come on. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs? Or this house? I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Whoa! Did that actually work? Go on then, my lord. Oh my gosh, it worked! Uh, what if I'm lying? Because I don't really know who the lord of this house is. <sighs> Let's go. Ridiculous! You're treating them like the wine guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool. Oh, gosh, it doesn't sense. matter what you They're think. They're fighting again. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. Hey, yo. I guess who's in the building? It's... I forgot what his name was. Roderick. Roderick! My boy. Oh. Come, join us. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. You should have shut your mouth. Oh yeah, he is the Lord of this house, isn't he? It's good. <clears throat> it's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked you again at all. It was highly probable. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps we should get started. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. We you guys He's been shut getting up. the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their oh guard. They God. think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey stole. Duncan. I've told you. Don't you I dare. was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting oh your lord. Stop. Now Ethan's dead and Ryan a hostage. I am your lord. Of course. Apologies, my lord. To keep fighting again. The White Hills of my brother. We fight amongst ourselves, and we should be fighting them. We would need an army to win that fight. If we don't have one. Then find me one, sir. Right. Then find me. Man. That's no simple command, my lord. <laughs> Most of our men fled after Lord Ethan was killed. Oh, our allies are either dead or too afraid of the Boltons to help us. Well, shoot, I don't know. You forget the Glenmores. What about them? You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. The marriage? What marriage? Well, that much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? She's coming now! Why is she coming here? She means to pay her respects to your father. But it could also be a chance to solidify our arrangement. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. And we could burn High Point to the fucking ground! Yes, Whoa. this marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. I'm certain I can convince her. We can convince She's always her. been fond of you. Just be careful not to push Elena too hard. <laughs> if Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. 
I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. But then My lord, mess perhaps up you could stuff. put an end to this tiresome dispute. Uh, Just handle it. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Good. Now, if there's nothing more to discuss. All right, we did it. Maester, it's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Welcome back, my lord. It's got to be back. Oh, it's blue. Cool, Leo. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him and Ethan. How is your song coming? Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started howling. <laughs> but thank you. Everyone knows how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Maybe. Who is the sister again? I'm lost. I am. It's entirely ridiculous. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. And mm, something nice after that. Uh... You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. Heck yeah. I don't want to hate her if she's going to be queen. It's not like she's killing doggies or whatever. She's not like that... that and the um... seal. Here you are. Well, thank you. There we go. Oh, are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. She asks that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. A letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. I'm lost. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. Oh! Why would I do something like that? That isn't the way I do things. You pushed me before and you saw the results. Crap. <laughs> I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. I'm gonna steal stuff. What am I doing? If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter.
finish letter to Sir Maynard or forge a letter to Elena Glenmore. Oh, uh, why not? Let's be bad. Dear Lady Elena. No, dearest Lady Elena. Oh, I'm in trouble. I remember one time I forged uh, some signed papers and said, Hopefully, a signature will do. And if it beat me in the butt, it definitely will bite her in the butt. For sure. I did it twice. Yeah. <gasps> Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. Uh oh! Elena of House Glenmore. I've never heard of the Glenmores. I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. About what? If you don't mind. What about? Well, it's... We really should get these letters sent first. Do you need any help with them? I've got them. Gosh. People, yes, it's cold today, isn't it? I mean, it seems to keep getting colder. Look at cross fingers. Oi, fuckhead. You might be new here, but you're in my spot. So move. We'll find another spot. Heck yeah, ruthless. Fucking answer. Most of you will be dead within the year. <sighs> <laughs> finger in his bloody speech. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? I don't care. The wall was erected over 8,000 no. years ago. And I don't care. You should. Had this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some lordling. He tried to stick me with this. I still don't care. I'll steal it from you, though. I'll stuck it in him instead. Hey, so next it? time I say move, you'd best fucking move. Shut up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. And what diacrime are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? You fuck potatoes. What? No! I stole them. That's what got me sent to the wall. Oh. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cutter. Cutter the potato fucker. Oh my There's God. one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. I've got something for your sister. Will you stop arguing? Who in seven hells is talking back there? Oh, crap. Oh, I was trying to tell them the highest, but no. Who was it? Oh, crap. These two are arguing. Yes. <laughs> Not wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. What? How's it my fault? Gary Tuttle here time. wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. How's it? What? But what he wants doesn't mean shit. I don't so care. today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow. Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive. Oh crap, they're gonna the hate rest me of now. You. Frostfinger. I need a word. Go on, get started. What are we doing? The level. I don't wanna be friends with these people. Best of <laughs> luck, to... Tuttle. Turtle. Alright, what's he gonna do now? He's gonna pick up barrels of stuff. Is Here we go. Horse? And then you fight. Again. And then you uh, shoot those bows meats? and arrows. Come to eat your brains for breakfast. Gotta be faster. Don't worry, I'm gonna kill everyone in the world. 
starting with, uh, what are they doing? Starting with these practice dummies. You're doing that all wrong. But we don't have these where I- Oh my god! <laughs> Man's Raider will shit himself when he sees you coming! <laughs> Let me show you. See, you just do that, and then boom. There we go. Alright, let's see if you can aim worth a wildling's arse. I, I can. Shoot the targets I tell you to. Oh crap, he's watching. I better do my best. Let's start easy. Middle dummy, center of the chest. Middle dummy, center, chest. More center. You can follow orders at least. Next bolt. Left target, head. I'll shoot you in the head. Good. Right target, chest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agent 47. Not bad. Center between the eyes. Center between the eyes. There we go. One less wildling. I'm doing yeah, good. all of them. Nicely I... done. Yeah, that was really easy. All we do is shoot stuff, play with swords, and then just pick up barrels. Finn thinks he's so bloody clever. If a real wildling got his hands on him... Ah, he's just a bully. Aye, he is. That's why I took this. You took his dagger? Swiped it right off him. I was supposed to do don't that. Don't tell, all right. I don't think you take it kindly. I can't promise anything. I'm trusting you. Don't let me down. Don't let me down, down, down. But if I get caught out for it, you know who's gonna be the one to... <laughs> I can pet a horse. I feel like I'm playing Indigo Prophecy now. You're just doing random stuff to keep your sanity low. Alright, let's go pick up some stuff. You there, recruit. Yes? Scrawny, aren't you? See if you can carry one of these barrels over to the witch. What's in it? It's pitch. Dump it off the wall and it'll burn the wildlings down to their fucking bones. Right. I can do this. Oh. Huh. Uh. <clears throat> Want some help? <laughs> Screw you, buddy. Oh, shoot. Keep going. Where do I go? Uh, out of the freaking way. There he is. We have to go right beside them fighting? Oh, I hate you. Don't hurt yourself, Tuttle. I did it. I completed the shrink. I'm thinking challenge. steward for you. You can help thinking... Frostfinger wash his cock. If the I'll thing is frozen okay. off. Oh, you're a freak. You know that. Yeah, I do. I'll make sure you die first. Show. Not quite. He's making a list in his head of who I should kill first. I'll take that dagger and freaking use it on him. Oh. Oh wait, I can fight? Hold on. Hold on. Alright, and this is the moment of truth. Can I fight? Take that! Take that! Watch your bloody top! You! Grab a practice sword. Heck yeah. Can I pick which sword I want? Oh my gosh. Yes. Well, not all of them, but let's pick the one. 
that's black because it's cool. This one should do. I'll be sparring with you today. Yay! Remember, these blades are dulled, but a sword's still a sword. What? Good luck. Like a butter knife. We can do it. Come on, keep at it. I'm trying. Uh oh. Get off me, you to. bloody ox. You got lucky. Can I please kill him? Pretty please. Oh my god, I want to kill him so badly right now. You don't understand. Are you dead? <sighs> I You're pathetic. Fuck off. You didn't even try. A crossbow is a coward's weapon. Besides, I could hit that dummy from here with my... Where is it? Whoa. Where the fuck's my knife? If someone has it... I'll cut their fucking balls off! Maybe someone stole it. Who the fuck would've... It was you! What? You little fucking thief! It weren't me! Finn, don't... Hey now! <gasps> Give me my knife! I don't have it, I swear! Out of my way! Do something! But stop it! Before some. Uh! I'm gonna kill you. Just you watch. Oh, say it again. Ah, fuck! Ah! Oh gosh. Hey, look. Fight! Fight! Yeah, get it! Here they go again. Uh oh. I'm doing good. Oh, yes. <laughs> and you're dead. Dead again. Wait. And then one more time. This should kill him for sure. Oh crap! Not again. Get off! What is going on here? He stole my fucking knife. No, I didn't. And Garrett defended him. The last thief I caught no longer has hands. I swear I don't have it. I didn't say any he had it. He must have hid it. <laughs> and you. I expected better, Tuttle. Wait. Instead, I find you doing this on your first bloody day of training. Sir, Not I... Not another word. You clearly need a few days scrubbing the latrines. Frostfinger. That's the worst. I need another man to top the wall. Fine. Let him freeze his balls off. I'll deal with this one. Get off! Oh! Mind you your fucking manners. 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 You, come with me. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I mean, at least I'm not getting put in solitary confinement. Was it Sashank's Redemption? <laughs> I didn't get him in trouble, though, if you think about it. I didn't say his name. Not one bit. See, I'm a great friend. When well, someone punches me, I'll punch him this back. Way. I love King's Landing in the afternoon. The sun just barely kisses your skin. You used to love this place. <laughs> She's so not interested. Remember, we'd come listen to the musicians in the evening with Lady Marjorie. What did you want to talk about? Just through here. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You'll see. Queen Cersei's finest wine. Did you steal it? Oh, girl, you're going to get in trouble. You're going to get us both in trouble. Relax. Nobody will miss it, I assure you. Oh, my God. A little won't hurt. What happens? No one's gonna find out. Because uh, heaven knows I need it. So, I, uh... <laughs> We're gonna 
getting so much trouble for drinking well, this wine. I just. I'm what? not very good at this sort of thing. Listen, if I tell you this, Mira, you must promise to keep it to yourself. Okay. You can tell no one. Sarah, just tell me. All right. Fine. Just please keep it a secret. My mother was a handmaiden to Lady Elena for many years. She became pregnant. And? It was a disgrace to her family. Okay. My true name is Sarah Flowers. You're a bastard? Yes. I'm fortunate to be where I am. I know that. But to always have to hide. Was your mother from a noble house? She must have been. To serve Lady Elena. Yes, though it's not well known. Distant cousins of the Tyrells, I'm told. They wanted nothing to do with me after my mother died. Well, that's rough. Uh... How did you get this far? I, I mean... I've been very lucky, I suppose. It's just... I don't want to be Sarah Flowers forever. I need Lady Marjorie to arrange a marriage for me. It's my chance at a life. A family of my own. Have you tried asking Lady Marjorie? It's not something I can simply ask for. I need her favor first. I know she often confides in you, and I was... Hoping that maybe, that maybe sometime when she comes to you wanting to talk, you might suggest she talk to me instead. Give me a chance to win her over. Coming from you, it's sure to mean a lot. Of course, Sarah. Thank you, Mira. Get my home hooked Thank up. you. Yes, why not? I'm so sorry. But Here if you I get am, us in trouble for myself. that wine, I swear. I know your family's troubles are much greater than mine. With what happened to your brother and your father? <laughs> you need this more than I do. Hmm. A conspiracy Ooh. of handmaidens. Lord Tyrion. My lord. Ladies. What have we here? If you mean to drink from that flagon, you're going about it the wrong way. It, it's not what it looks like. We were just... Just airing the wine? Not the finest Arbor Red, but a favorite of my sister's. Don't Quite please. expensive for a handmaiden. Don't tell her. I'd be curious to know how you got hold of it. Since I'm certain my sister didn't give it to you, she won't even share with me. We found it. Found it? Where? In that bush. In that bush. <laughs> Strange it should find its way into a bush. Someone left it there, duh. If Cersei knew you had this wine, she'd drown you in it. You must know what risks are worth taking. Especially if you wish to have an alliance with me. I'm Things sorry. have changed. My father has recently taken an interest in Ironwood. Most of the Royal Navy went up in green flames. It must be rebuilt. He insisted I handle things myself. I'm on my way to meet representatives of Lord Whitehill. Lord Whitehill? He's hired a pair of merchant lords to broker for his house. It would seem Lord Whitehill wishes to sell the Ironwood right out from beneath your family. I don't know much about the man, but judging by his up-jumped sellswords, I will speak for House Forrester. Perhaps you could. Yeah. Come with me. These men think I have no choice but to deal with them. Imagine their surprise when I bring a Forrester to the table. 